the recording? Yep. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and do an intro? Nope. Okay. Hello, friends. So here we are. Today is one week post-op for Chris. One week post-op. So this time last Friday, they had just wheeled him out of the recovery room and into his hospital room, and we were getting settled in there. So we've had a full week since then, and I thought we'd just do a little interview here to see kind of how things are and how things have been. So just a recap of our, our whole experience up to this point. Okay. So um, looking back on it, how do you feel like the pre-op diet went? Uh, it went well. Obviously, uh, they didn't have to put a fifth incision in me, um, which meant that my liver was small enough that they didn't need to move it out of the way or anything like that. So I feel like I did good on the pre-op diet. I didn't cheat. Um, and so I'm really glad I stuck to that. Absolutely. And, and you know, all surgery programs are a little different. Every surgeon has their own program. Our surgeon does allow a little more laxity as far as allowing some vegetables and- uh, Thank God, and thank God. <laughs> during that pre-op stage. The veggies saved me, for sure. Definitely. Um, and we do know some people who maybe weren't as strict on their diet, but went ahead with the surgery. Um, and did okay. You know, they had some special occasions or reasons that they didn't quit, but I'm really proud of you for sticking it out and, and not cheating. And I, I do think Thanks. it saved you a full incision, which was probably worth it. Worth it. I don't have a scar on my body, so that's great. An extra scar. An extra scar. Yeah, I've got four, so. But <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Four's better than five. So, um, how did it go traveling down to Mexico? We traveled by airplane to San Antonio. How did that go pre-op? Uh, it went fine pre-op. Um, I, I am not a big giant fan of flying, and so uh, that kind of upped my anxiousness. I was actually more anxious for the flights than the surgery itself, which I, I know is silly, um, but I do get anxious flying. Um, just always glad to be back on the ground, so easy peasy. Absolutely. So something we learned is that you know because we were flying, we couldn't take liquids on with us, so like protein shakes and, and other liquids we couldn't take with us. Um, so I think that's something to definitely consider if you're going to be flying to and from your surgery is what you can and cannot take with you on the plane. Yep. Uh, we ended up making a stop once we got there just to, at Walmart to pick up some things for you. We did. We didn't even end up really using any of it except we did get some milk. Uh, I could have skim milk. Um, that you know gives a little bit of oomph to your stomach, you know, a little bit of feeling of fullness. So, um, But other than that, we really didn't use the other stuff we bought. So overall, what did you think pre-op? You know, on a scale of you know zero to ten, zero being super duper easy, ten being super duper hard. Where would you put it? Um, especially the first couple of days, I would put it at probably like a eight, uh, just because it's you know you're training your body to not be eating anything solid, um, and that's difficult. Um, but it was doable. So an eight overall. Uh, it probably went down to a six. The rest of the week. Okay, good. So um, we arrived at the hospital. You felt good about the facility and the surgeon. I did. Uh, beautiful facility, but I, you know, you had already gone through it, and so I, I felt very comfortable not only with the facility but also the, the staff and the doctor. I knew I was in good hands. Absolutely. Um, is there anything that made you question the facility, or maybe you know, made you question your decision to go to Mexico? Um, not at all. Again, seeing how well you did and seeing your results um, and knowing how much research you put into it initially, um, I, had, I, I had literally had zero worries. Okay. So surgery day, um, everything went well. The doctor came down and said everything went great for the surgery itself. Um, how do you feel like you did as far as recovery from surgery you know, the next couple of days after surgery? Um, I think I did pretty well. I wanted to get up before I was supposed to and walk. I just really wanted to get that gas pressure off my chest. Um, so I felt like I did well. Um, I felt like I felt better <laughs> those first couple of days, those first three or four days, um, than I do now, which is weird. Uh, to me, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but I felt very good. I felt like I, I was well taken care of. Um, having you there was phenomenal because uh, I you know what you know what I was going through so um, if anybody is considering doing this surgery and some you already know somebody that's done it man there's nothing better than that because 
you can go through it together. And you found fuzzy because you keep move rocking, you're rocking back and forth. And so the focus has come off of you. There. Stop, stop, stop. Just stay in one place. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm really hot. I, I know, I'm just. All right, we're back on. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And if you don't know anyone who's had the surgery and you have questions, feel free to email us. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we're here for. That's why we're doing this, uh, because we want to be informative um, or, you know, let you know kind of what we experience. And hopefully you get a, a taste of that through these videos. Definitely. So how about flying home? How did that go? Uh, again, nerves. Uh, I was very nervous about it. Uh, we actually flew back a day earlier, um, but it is what it is like you have to get home so um it was fine um very smooth flights overall which is nice um you know we live in the, the middle of the country so it wasn't very long flights it was like an hour two two one hour flights so pretty easy not too bad at all so i know this week has been rough you're on day five of no day six of six. seven of your clear liquid post-op diet yes um i know it's been rough can you tell me how it's been rough um, like I said, the first couple days were, um, I felt a lot better. I felt good. I, was, I didn't have a lot of pain. Um, I still don't have a lot of pain, but the last three or four days-ish, um, I felt very, or I still do, I feel very weak, very lightheaded, um, kind of out of it a little bit. Um, I, I think the thing that is most surprising to me is I really thought that I would feel stronger by now. Like I know it's only a week, but I really felt like it would be, you know, I would just start, I would feel better each day and I, I haven't felt better each day. Um, and that, that's surprising to me. And again, it's weird that I felt better initially than I do now. So when you're feeling lightheaded and when you're feeling weak, what are you doing? Uh, meeting popsicles, uh, meeting um, fudge sickles, popsicles. Our diet allows sugar items, and that helps you with your energy. Doesn't make you feel like you're going to start crashing. Um, I've been trying to go about every two hours. Um, sometimes I feel like it's I need it earlier than that. Um, but I, I've just been resting as much as I can, trying to walk when I can. Uh, like we just went on a little walk around the neighborhood, very brief, but um, wore me out. Um, pretty big time, but the sugar is what helps. Um, also, uh, yesterday I had some um, bone broth and I felt better after that as well. So I think just getting some of those nutrients in. Also, I've been drinking skim milk. I had skim milk this morning and I felt pretty good all morning until around 11 or 12 and I started kind of crashing again. Um, but I do feel like getting a little bit of that protein um, has been helpful. How are you doing on your water intake? Plugging away. Uh, you're, they, they recommend that you get 64 ounces. I know I'm not getting that probably in a day. Um, and they say that's normal, that's okay. Um, but I have a, a Bubba mug. How many ounces are in that? Like 32. 32. Um, and I get m most of that done in a day. And then in, in addition to the, the broths or the, the popsicles and things like that that I'm getting. So um, I get close to that 32, um, but not fully every day, um, but I'm trying. How are you doing with sipping? Um, doing okay with sipping. Um, I sometimes will take a bigger gulp and then just try it in my mouth to separate it. Uh, drink kind of only half of what I just took in. Um, they don't want extra air in there. They don't want you to chew uh, yet because that, that, that affects your, you know, the air in your, in your stomach. Um, so I, I do feel like sipping is going well. I'm a, I'm a straw person. Um, I haven't missed straws uh, since I started this process, um, but I've been drinking from a Bubba mug, which doesn't have a straw for six months or so. Um, trying to drink more water, get used to more water, and I think it's going well so far. So when are you supposed to go back to work? I'm supposed to go back to work Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'm still pretty shaky. Um, and foggy um, and so you know with my profession I do worry about going back to work yet um, if I didn't have to interact with anything or anybody I think I would be fine but the fact that I do um, that worries me a little bit but again I've got a few more days here uh, to try to recruit but we'll see so on Sunday you get to change to a full liquid diet what does that change entail 
basically the same diet that I'm on now for two more weeks, except I can have a little bit thicker things. I can have cream soups. I can have um, even applesauce, which I'm surprised, uh, and pudding. Um, and I can have like V8 juice, some things that are a little bit thicker, but they still have to run off of a spoon. No chunks of anything. Uh, I, have, I have yogurt. I'm not a yogurt person, so I don't even know if I will be trying it. I probably will because I'll probably want something different. But basically just, again, liquid, liquid, liquid for two more weeks. And why? Why are we doing liquid for so long? <laughs> because uh, your sleeve is new. Uh, I think it's Dr. Eddie. I think he kept calling it baby sleeve. Uh, it's, it is a baby sleeve, baby stomach. Um, right now when you drink, it just goes straight through. Uh, when you start adding a little thicker things, it's going to sit there in your stomach. And then as you add soft foods, it's just going to sit there and your stomach is going to be learning how to get it through. Um, so instead of it just kind of sitting there in a big pouch, now it's like a big banana. It just whoosh, slips through. Um, and as you know, a lot of times when you eat, it just sits there on your chest. It either has air build up or it lets you know you're full. I'm still, I don't know that full feeling yet. Um, I know that pressure feeling, but I don't know the full feeling because I haven't had any food yet. So we've been talking a lot about this stage and how tough it is. And the reason that you're sticking so close to it is because the goal for this two to three weeks of liquid stage. Four weeks total. Four weeks total is really to heal. Heal. Uh, it sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it is harder than I thought it would be. Um, mentally i mean it's it's all mental but also it is physical because you're just worn out you're foggy like i said i'm shaky um and that is weird for me i've never really felt those things um you know i'm, I'm tired it, I mean, before the surgery but now i'm like just i have nothing i have nothing so um i know it's all necessary but this as everybody says this is really the hardest part of all of it um there will be difficulties for the next you know year um, of learning how to adjust to this new new stomach but everybody seems to say that these first weeks are by far the hardest did i tell you the first weeks were the hardest i believe so i believe so but it's like not you don't know until you're in it you know you don't understand um and like i said i really thought i would continue to get stronger each day um, instead of weaker and that's weird for me You've mentioned a couple of times, I don't know if you put it in your other videos, but your voice is weird. Yeah, my voice feels weird. <clears throat> um, I, I've done a couple of videos here, uh, post-op. I've done a couple for my uh, collecting channel that I do. Um, and I just, I don't know if it's in my head, like I, I sound pretty normal on camera to me, but in my head I sound very weak. Um, what do you think? In person you sound weak. Yeah. You sound like somebody who's been in the hospital and their voice gets weak. Yeah. And I've never been in the hospital before this, before the surgery. So that was a weird thing to me. I don't remember you going through that where your voice was different. Uh, I'm sure it was, but I just don't remember. Overall, are you feeling okay about your decision to have surgery? Uh, right now, 100%. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, I do have my, my moments here and there where I have like a mini panic attack, like what did I do? Um, but in the, in the end, I know it's going to be something that's going to have changed my life for the better. Um, and I don't know, it's, I know, I know we'll have those moments. I'm sure you have those moments from time to time, uh, at least initially, but, um, I'm still really glad I did it. Do you have any advice for somebody who's thinking of having this surgery or who has just had this surgery and is about to, about to get to the phase you are? Um, don't cheat. Because if you cheat now, what's it going to be like in a month? What's it going to be like in two months? Like I cheated then, I could cheat this, I could cheat that. And then you're right back where you started. Um, I know that there's going to be moments where I eat unhealthy things um, as I'm able to eat, but I'm still thankful that this is a tool to kind of start over again. Um, some people really do well on this, some people fail, and then they have to get a bypass or other surgeries. I don't want to be that person. Um, so that's my biggest advice is stick to the plan. Um, really make sure it's what you want before you do it because there is no going back um, for the most part. Um, 
I don't know, stick to your guns and do it for yourself and the people around you. Okay, I think that's a pretty good place to wrap it up. Thank you for answering all my questions and sharing and congratulations on being a week out. Week out, I can't believe it's been a week already. Um, although it's been a long week, uh, it's gone by. Um, and I know the next two weeks we'll do the same and then I'll start getting some soft food. I'm anxious for a cottage cheese of all things. Uh, so I'm just, uh, ho hopefully I can tolerate that stuff. But again, one week down, the rest of my life to go.